Hey guys, want to encourage you today. Another day of lockdown, but another day of training. Remember what I said in my previous video. We may feel trapped right now, but we're not trapped. We're in training. Now is the time to focus our energy and our time on building our character. You may say, Gareth, but I'm bored. You know, what is there to do? And, and you know what? Yeah, there are a lot of things we can't do right now. But whilst we can't do a lot of things, maybe we can focus on who am I becoming? This season is a gift. I can't urge you enough. This, is, this season is a, a gift to help us identify where we have become mediocre. What do you mean, Gareth? Well, I said in my previous videos, there's three things this year I'm declaring war on. Number one, I'm declaring war on fear. I want to help you build confidence that's going to unlock opportunity to grow and to have an impact. I'm declaring war on small thinking to help you understand there's a greatness in you that needs to come out that other people are waiting to see because you are a solution to their problem. And the third thing is I'm declaring war on mediocrity. Do you have a habit? Do I have a habit that helps me to see that I have become mediocre in any area of our lives? What does mediocrity sound like? It's got a language mediocrity and it sounds like that will do. Mediocrity sounds like it's good enough. Mediocrity sounds like, well, that's just the way I am. That's just the way I do things. Mediocrity sounds like making statements such as I really should watch less Netflix or I really should not sit here endlessly scrolling on social media but then not doing anything about it. That's what mediocrity sounds like. Mediocrity looks like uh, even though I'm at home never doing myself up, putting on clothes to look good, to, to look nice, to smell nice and, and you may say, but Gareth, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but do you know what? Um, excellence, which is the nemesis of mediocrity, is, is a statement of belief about my own self-worth. You see, my mediocre habits reveal that I haven't truly valued who I am. You see, if I were to show you um, who you really are, and therefore what you can ultimately achieve through your life and the lives that you can impact, then I think you would start to maybe look at the day-to-day -day details of what you do and how you do them differently. That's focusing on character. When you focus on who am I bringing to this day? You see, you can focus on this right now. Right now, there's a lot of, of, of of doing that we can't do. Okay, a lot of the things that we used to be able to do have been removed from, from us. But that gives us a great opportunity to focus on who am I being? What are my core values that I'm going to choose? To, hey, today I am confident so I can and then start to understand what that looks like as a behavior. Today I am an impact so today I can make those calls to encourage others. I can build that product, put together that training, whatever it looks like to influence other people's lives. You see, all of a sudden, when you start focusing on the building of your character and, and start looking, okay, what habits can I start to develop today that, that reflect my values? You see, if my habits are out of alignment with my values, I'll become frustrated. I'll become frustrated because internally I'll feel rubbish because I'm constantly falling short of my standards. See, that's why some of us feel rubbish with our lives. It's not because you are rubbish, because you're not. It's because we're falling short of our standards, but we're not aware of what those standards are and therefore we don't do anything about it. But when you focus on your character, when you focus on your values, when you go into training on who you're becoming, you can start then to identify, okay, here's the mediocrity in my life. I am not going to settle for it. I have had enough of being mediocre with the way I eat, with the way I don't exercise. I, I, I'm, I'm going to declare war on the way I've become mediocre with the way I speak to my wife, husband, partner, children, 
I'm, I, I'm going to declare war on those habits about what I'm listening to, what I'm watching, because it's out of alignment with my values. What are your values? It's what, it's what you really want to be known for. You see that when you align your life to your values, you learn then to say no to the things that are going to rob you of building the character that is going to unlock the future opportunity. Because if the Gareth 10 years from now, or you put your own name there, if, 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 if you 10 years from now need to be uh, building a character of integrity, of honesty, of respect, then now's the time to go into training. You see, uh, you don't wait for the match to start if you're a footballer or you don't wait for the uh, job offer to come before you go into training. The training opens the way for the opportunity to perform, to play that match, to operate in that career. We've got to go into training right now. We've got a few months left of this seven month period that I talked about and I really believe it's got to focus on building that character. Let's declare war on mediocrity. Maybe in the comment section below where you're watching this, put down some of the things that you think are mediocre that you are going to declare war on in your life. Come on, let's create a conversation of accountability because there is greatness in you, there is a confidence in you, there's an excellence in you and we want to see that come out and so do the people in your future who you are going to help. Have a great rest of the day.